Oh my god, I can't believe I'm actually fucking gonna do this. This is gonna be absolutely terrible. <laughs> What's up, my gravy babies? It's me, Rumi Down Under Gaming, here back at it again with another Hearts of Iron 4 random challenge. <laughs> I know, crazy, right? Me, Rumi Down Under Gaming Productions, making a goddamn challenge. It's gonna, it's, this one, trust me, is gonna be interesting. Buy my merch. Oh, hey there, dear viewer. I understand that you've got a bit of money in your pocket. Buy Buy my fucking mug! Okay, I get it. I'm coming on a bit strong, but maybe if you just went and bought some merch because the sale ends tomorrow and all of these absolutely delicious prices are gonna be higher and you're gonna miss out and then you're gonna complain because it's too expensive! I'm just kidding. But there is a shit ton of stuff out of stock and the sale does end tomorrow, so best get back to those Chinese laborers making some more. <laughs> I'm not kidding, it's made in China. Wow, I saw a Productions, what crock of shit do you have for us today in the world of Hearts of Iron 4? Well, you cocky little shit viewer, guess what? The idea is pretty simple. Every year at the end of the year, at the 1st of January, I will randomly select a new country to players and try to continue the fucking game. I know, it's that simple. And we will carry this on until 1945, the 1st of January, and we'll see exactly what impact we manage to have on the war and the world. But this also includes releasable nations and all of South America, which is just gonna be so fucking fun to play us, won't it? <laughs> Spin that wheel! Oh boy, it's the magical Hoi 4 country picking wheel. Where will it land, viewer? Nobody knows. Please not South America. PRC! I'll take it. So there's really not much I'm going to be able to do in one year as China, but we're going to try and take out Shanxi at the least. Uh, will I be able to do it? Who fucking knows? We'll find out in like, I don't know, 20 fucking minutes. Oh, and remember here, if you're new around here, you want to see some more wacky and insane tr challenges in Hearts 5-4, hit that sub button. Just like I'm about to hit the fucking dab button on Shanxi. Well, I, I managed to take Shanxi. That, that was... All they wrote for China. Well, that was 1st of January almost, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start a war with the Shibidi Sanma and see if the AI can actually deal with it. I, I don't know if they can. I've made them a bunch of troops, so they should be able to do it, but I've seen the AI lose a lot, a lot less with a lot more, so. Oh, anyway, next country. Magical Hoi 4 country picker, where shall you take us on our dearest journey today? <laughs> oh, fuck. What the fuck? am I gonna do as Croatia for one fucking year? I, I don't know. I'm gonna- I'm gonna find something out, alright? I don't- I don't even have a single military factory. I- I have a naval dockyard, though. I- I have a- I'll build a submarine. I'll build a submarine as Croatia, and that will be our tale for the world! Oh yeah, shit, dude. I'll go to war economy. That surely will fix the Croatian problem of not being able to build jack shit. Oh, well, I've never played as Croatia before, so I never knew they could restore Austria-Hungary, which is... <laughs> I, I'll, I'll do that, I'll get that done in no time. Whilst I can't do anything militarily, I should be able to do a few things diplomatically, as uh, there's there's no reason Croatia just can't boost the fascist populations in these countries to the point where they might actually erupt into a civil war later, all because of Croatia. Oh, this game. Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna get nukes as Croatia. <laughs> oh, shit. My baby. They did it. They took out the Shibani Sadma. <laughs> oh, please take me back. Well, the end of the year's coming up. All I managed to do was build a submarine and make the world a little bit more fascist with that powerful <laughs> Croatian influence of the world. Um, gonna go just drop this submarine here and hopefully it does something at some point. Oh, thanks, fuck. First of January. Okay, magical country picker. Anywhere but the fucking Balkans, please. Anywhere. I will take any- ah! You know, know, Greece isn't technically like Balkan. They're like their own thing. And I- I'm- I, What the fuck am I gonna do as Greece? We're gonna make Greece fascist! I have like a shit ton of infantry equipment as Greece, but no, they haven't built any fucking trees. Probably down to the manpower thing. Well, we're gonna make Greece fascist. That's the aim and the goal here. I think this is the first time I've ever tried to like flip over with a fucking civil war, but here we go. The great Greek civil war. That the other side didn't even spawn with fucking troops. They they didn't even spawn with a single. F I'm, I'm marching into their capital on fucking horse. I just marched into Thessalonica and declared myself the dictator of Greece. Oh my fucking god and that's all they wrote for fucking greece but now magical country picker 
Please, somewhere else in the world. Madrigal, hoi for country picker. Give me the luck I so fucking deserve today and no more Balkan countries for me. Oh my fucking god. Really? Lebanon. Fucking Lebanon. I've never fucking played as... Have I played as Lebanon before? I, I, don't, I don't even fucking... Who's, who plays as Lebanon? Well, there's a first time for everything. Might as well do Liberty Ethos as well. I'm pretty sure I've never done that either. Okay, we're, we're only going to do half a year for Lebanon, all right? Because it's already 1939 and there's fucking nothing for me to do. So please, country pick us somewhere good. Please, anywhere good. Just anywhere. Just a major country. A no, I'll take South America. I will take South America at this fucking... What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me what no we're, we're not doing lebanon again spin it one more time we'll spin it one more time and whatever it is we'll play it okay i don't fucking care but we're not doing lebanon ever fucking you ah! deep breaths we'll just do another six months and it'll all be fine yeah, everything is gonna be okay you know, when I imagined this, I thought it'd be more along that I'd end up playing Poland, trying to defeat Germany during their invasion, but no. Jordan! In more interesting news in the world, Communist China sending volunteers to Poland. God, I wish that was me! Oh, well, literally, the, the 1st of January came around and we got fascists in the government, so you can fucking deal with that, Jordan. I'm going to where the fuck we end up next. You're a magical oi for country picker. You're a bit of a fucking cunt. Did I ever just fucking tell- <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're not doing Tibet. We're, we're not doing Tibet. I'm going to re-roll, okay? Whatever one we get next, we're going to fucking play us. But if, if it's Tibet again, I will legitimately shoot- Hungary! I will take Hungary! And immediately invade Romania. Oh shit, oh yeah, I forgot I'm allied with Germany. <laughs> you go deal with that. How the fuck did this happen? How the f what happened to Greece? Oh, well, this is the most successful thing I've done so far as a country. Greater Hungary. Well, it was going pretty well, but then the uh, Allies naval invaded. But that's not my problem anymore, because it's the 1st of January. Oh, go ahead, go put me somewhere fucking random. Tibet? Yeah, I'll take it at this point. Uruguay? Yeah, sure, fake magical country pick out. Oh, fucking. Oh. Oh, that's quite nice. Didn't specify which France, because there are two now, but I'm going to go ahead and assume they meant free France, and we'll go try and do something because Charles de Gaulle. Oh, no one's in North Africa. I guess I'll just take that. Why not? Yeah, this is what I needed. Just a nice, calming, relaxing game as free France retaking North Africa because the British were too lazy to fucking do it. Just getting our colonies back. That's all I wanted to do. Just a peaceful game. The Qing broke free. And I was not expecting them to join that faction. Well, just as I landed in Spain, 1st January rolls up, and now we get to go where the magical country picker takes us! Yeah, I think me and the magical country picker are actually back on terms now. Uh, but we both agree that it was a bit silly to hate each other. And, uh, they, Manjuko, they, they just broke free. Yeah, sure, that'd be fun. And it looks like they've actually taken over most of this land all fucking ready. Nice one, Jing. I, I, was, um, I was pushing into China, and then... The Guanzi clique just appeared, and now they're, they're China. That fucking shoot me. Oh, but no, never mind. China's China now, but it's ruled by the same guy from the Guanzi clique. It's fucking, what the hell? Oh, oh, but now the Guanzi clique China is actually, it's Yunnan. It's Yunnan now. Um, everything makes fucking sense, doesn't it? Well, first of January has rolled up. We've done most of the fucking work in China, and now it's, uh, it's time to see where we're going to end up next. Where will it land? We've got some pretty good luck so far, so I'm going to match it's going to be a pretty fun country to... Oh my fucking god! Yeah, no, we're not doing Tanatuva. We're not doing fucking Tanatuva because they've already been annexed. That's the rule. They've, they've been annexed. You can't do it. Oh my gosh, please. Anywhere. Good. Just... Oh my god! I guess I'll be Ireland then. Played Ireland and the uh, the game immediately fucking crashed. Japan wants me to join their faction. <laughs> Fuck it, sure. Yeah, I took I took Northern Ireland. That's pretty cool. Um, Germany took all of Russia except these little bits, which got puppeted by Italy because they're now democratic because I boosted them as Lebanon. And uh, yeah, that's it. I want to fucking die. And the last country we shall be playing as it's it's uh it's actually not Germany. I just accidentally clicked before I start recording, so we're not gonna count that. That's too easy. We're gonna see 
what it's gonna be. Hopefully, somewhere actually playable and not too much of a fucking meme. Here we go, but oh, okay, back where we started. That's odd. Oh, first things first. Definitely gotta kill the fucking Ching. That that was almost too easy. Um, I, I I also forgot that Yunnan also became China at some point. That's so fucking disgusting. I did the form the PRC event in my national focus tree, and, and now I'm light blue. But I think that's because somehow Xinjiang became the PRC at some point. I, this game's a bit fucking weird. Not entirely sure why there's a picture of Mao here, considering I don't know what the fuck happened to Mao. Well, the last thing I managed to do was take out Korea. There's still some Japanese troops down here as they join the Japanese faction. But uh, I think we're just going to have a quick overview of the world and we'll, we'll end it off. Oh, there you go. First of January, didn't manage to push them out in time. My troops only just arrived. But uh, this is actually a really fucking fun playthrough. I gotta say, the, the world looks absolutely fucking disgusting at the same time. But it was really fun. I got some... <laughs> really stupid luck, especially with the Lebanon and Jordan shit. Well, this was definitely a most interesting game. I think I'm going to do another one of these, but um, I don't know if you guys want to see another one, because obviously it's a, it's a bit different from the usual videos. It's a bit back and forward, not just a concrete straight line like the other ones are. So if you want to see another one this, uh, 10,000 likes, and I'll, I'll do another one. And maybe we'll do a bit more rules, so uh, no South American countries or something dumb. I don't know. Just leave me some feedback down below how you'd want me to fix this up a little bit but uh until next time guys make sure to hit that sub button get some merch before it's gone off sale and i'll i'll see you next time